somehow cutting that twisted the cap off. Plan today. Um, what is my plan? Okay, how about we are going to cut this tree down um, and we're going to cut this one down and that one. Getting a few more things done. We just came back from camp. Check this out. This is our setup. Fairy lights. The old A van. Just watched a beautiful sunset. So I've got it back in the caravan. Yeah, I want to feel like I've accomplished something, so this log is going, I've just sharpened the saw. Let's uh, do this. Yep, a lot easier once I sharpened it. Cut through like butter. It's the stump. Might even be able to grind our names in it. Oh, the red. While chopping down the trees, multiple neighbours came over and were like, oh, thank you for chopping those down, because they were pretty ugly, so... <laughs> uh, definitely no complaints there, and it was nice to meet them too. Dumball! Yeah. Time the chain, and then... Uh... Chop all that up. Seven minutes to do that. Doesn't take much. Grew up in a place where they told you what to chase. Told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page. But I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave. Had to find a way to change. I had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream. I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, because everybody want to tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame There's some rope. In the branch, which I didn't realize, now it's jammed. So I'm going to have to take off. It's not spinning now. Yeah, it's not the brake this time. <laughs> So this is what's wrapped around the little cog that I need to get out. Ok, 
Okay, so to take the chain off, but it's now spinning again without any issues. That was a lot easier than I've done it a few times. Oh, like it's standing, they don't want me to change, keep me where I'm standing. And I don't want to be where I am. And I want something more, take a chance. It could be possibly my last dance, my last dance. I don't want to let myself down, myself. I reckon I've got a 50% chance of hitting my letterbox because that's literally the way that it falls. So I've cut the extra limbs off to try and minimize hitting it. Might even get the last top ones. We'll see how we go. I'm pretty sure if it comes towards my car, it's. Oh. We're pretty close. Might even lop the top off just so it, actually you know what I'm gonna do that. Cut the top off so when it falls it's not gonna hit anything. Somehow, cutting that, twisted the cap off. I'm down to the last part of this. There's not much left. But anyway, I think I'm almost done there. Good job. <laughs> okay so those were the last trees we were going to chop down the reason we had to chop them down was because we we're planting hedges so the next video is us planting 38 hedge trees along there uh, followed by part one of the cubby house which as you can see through this video we have started uh, started that this last stump took a while to get out um, chopping it just below ground level um, and that was a bit of a pain in the butt. But the mini boss, really impressed with that saw, totally would recommend it uh, if you're looking for one. After a hard day's yakka, nothing better than coming to the beach.